there are many professing Christians in the Hollywood world, also in the sports world as well. And these people, I believe, have not heard the true gospel. They have not accepted the true gospel. And I am praying for them. Because listen, a lot of the things that I'm seeing it, it, it is just heartbreaking. They are heartbreaking. And you can tell they do not have the right voices in their ear. And they are not studying or adhering to the principles and standards of God. Now, this video, I'm talking about Ryan Garcia specifically, right? I don't believe he is a true born-again Christian. It seems like he's a new age Christian, you know, merging, you know, mixing in new age and witchcraft and Christianity, you know. And I want to play this video so you guys really see this. And we need to pray for him as well. But this has to be really exposed. I hope he sees this, all right, where he teaches people how to astral project and tries to make it biblical astral projection is full-blown sorcery let's go I teach everybody how to astral project how to ask what astral project what's that so basically you're in your subconscious to the point where you actually leave your body in the dream state it's like nah hell no nah, i ain't trying to do that you're not nah hell no nah. <laughs> you can't they just put an alien on me bro no, i ain't yeah. do that but that sound like some like ayahuasca shit no, 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 but like you could do it naturally. Though. Yeah? Yeah. No, I ain't trying, to leave, my, trying, I ain't to, trying to leave my body, man. Because you want to come back to your body? No, you I'm trying to stay in my body. Fuck that. <laughs> I'll be in real life. Hell no. It's actually possible. Oh, they give you a galaxy. That shit's expensive. That's fine. Yeah, that's just like $40 or something. You know, this whole thing of leaving your body at will and what and whatnot is absolutely demonic. It's like that satanic slogan, do what thou will. All right? Whenever the Lord will catch someone up in the spirit or take someone in the spirit, it will always be by his will. No one can just take their spirit and go somewhere. When we look at Philip, the Bible says Philip was transitioned. He was translated in the spirit by God, but he didn't go and astral project or translate himself. Everything he's teaching here is complete sorcery. It's absolutely demonic. Yeah. Well, it's basically high level, oh. high level meditating. Everybody's, that's not of God. High so level God meditating? Let me see. High level, oh. high level meditating. High level meditating, absolutely demonic. Because the meditating that's within scripture is meditating on the word of God, that will renew your mind. But what he's teaching here is absolutely new ageism, mystical, just absolutely demonic. Everybody's, that's not of God. So if God created everything, how's that not of God? Listen, God created everything, but God did not create witchcraft. Things can be perverted and now become demonic. Okay, if somebody gets a, if God created this, let's say this cup, right? And someone cuts it up and makes it into a weapon, a sword. Did God create uh, the thing that was perverted? Did God create the manipulation of it? No. God's creation has become perverted, right? When we see, even with Satan, Satan was gifted by God. He it was anointed by God and everything, but he became perverted. So everything, all of Satan's powers are demonic because they have been perverted. He can still operate in power, but it's rebellious power. It's demonic power. And when we look at some of the gifts within scripture, of the demonic gifts, the Bible makes it very clear that the sorcerers within scripture they mimic the same miracle signs and wonders as Moses did by their secret dark arts. They didn't do it by the Holy Ghost. They didn't do it by the power of, power of God, but they did it by the power of Satan. And the Bible also lets us know that there were false prophets in Samaria that were prophesying by Baal. And that's divination. It's by a demon. Do you understand me? God didn't create divination. Okay? God didn't create these things. <laughs> This is crazy. Ask yourself that. So if Paul was in, in the Bible saying, I was not, I, I don't know if I was in my body or out of my body. So, so if Paul could say that in Corinthians, why is it that what I said was kind of crazy? Right? If it says in the Bible where Paul says he doesn't know if he was in the body or out of the body. See, this is just an abuse of scripture. And it's sad. You're right. If you don't know your word, your word, you'll read that scripture and not understand it. Now, the Bible says here in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3, it says, And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, 
but God knows, was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things uh, that no one is permitted to tell. So what Apostle Paul is saying is that there is a man, uh, that there is a man that he heard of, that he knows, that was caught up, raptured by God in the spirit, whether in the body or out of the body. Apostle Paul said, I don't know. Apostle Paul wasn't talking about himself, I don't believe, right? I believe he was talking about himself, not too sure, but he was talking about how it was a rapture of the spirit. I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things, things that no one is permitted to tell. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself. Okay, so that person that was raptured, that was caught up. You see that word right there when, when it says um, he was caught up to paradise, that means rapture. It means caught up. It's the same thing when people talk about the rapture is not in the Bible. That word caught up really is translated into rapture, right? Um, or Rapture is really translated into caught up in, in English. Rapture is not a, like an English word and whatnot. It comes from the word rapture or harpraise or one of the two, right? So we have to have the understanding of scripture because when you begin to do things by yourself, that's witchcraft, okay? But when the Lord wants to take you up in the spirit, that's, that's called being caught up, raptured, tra translating you in the spirit like Philip. You see, Everything he's teaching, I don't know who his mentor is, who is in his ear, because the stuff he's teaching, this whoever's in his ear is teaching him doctrines of demons. Mm, right? So, so, you know, I'm just saying, I, I'm just trying to give you guys. This is why sometimes y'all having dreams and encounters, and you think it's always just demons. It's it's people, sometimes their spirit, astral projecting, afflicting you in the night. You're having sexual dreams. Someone's laying in their bed, astral projecting, thinking about... Oh, I want to have intercourse with this girl. Then the astral project, and you think it's a spiritual spot stream, but it's people like this astral projecting. You know, some some game. On, on what 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 is actually really out there? So basically, you lay down. You don't have your arms touching, your body touching, your legs touching, and then you go into a spiritual state, and um, you try to convince yourself. With, um, we just went live on the ground. Let's go, now baby. What's up with it? Let's go. We're in this team. Hey. Basically, you stay down there, and then it, it almost hey, you almost go into a vibration and to the point where you can't get scared, and then you surpass it, and then you, you go into astral projection. Everybody says it's not something you should be telling people. That's crazy, bro. Why, why is that crazy? Why is it, you guys don't want to know the truth? All right, whatever. They say it's dangerous, and let, like only do it if, if if you're solid in your spiritual life. Don't do this if you're not. Don't do this unless you're you know it. You know when when he talks about being solid in your spiritual life, his understanding of being solid in your spiritual life is definitely different than what the Bible says, because we know he's he's not talking about holiness, fleeing from sexual morality fleeing from corrupt talk and whatnot. We know he's not talking about that, but I think he's talking about something, some spiritualness that just is not a part of the Bible. Your relationship with God is expressed through your obedience to God and his word. And guess what? You guys could say that I'm crazy, right? But the government knows this. Some people won't get this unless you're super spiritual. And everybody, oh, you playing with God? That's not playing with God. It's the truth. This is all real. Why do you think they made movies about it? Why do you think The Conjuring has a movie of a kid going astral projection? Because astral projection is real, but it's demonic. It's like how divination is real, but it's demonic. It's like how Ouija boards are real, but it's demonic. Do you understand me? It's like how witchcraft is real, but it's demonic. And I, I, I think, I don't know if he's truly saved. 
He doesn't have the the fruits of being a born again Christian. He's never really had it to begin with. Um, but I want to show y'all something. L l listen to this, you know, and this is like something that he believes is okay and normal. Just listen to this. Where's your mom? Oh, I'm gonna go flirt with your mama. Ooh, uh, yeah, I want some of your mama. I want your mama now. F you mother. I'm not talking about my mom. Be fuck. Yeah, that fear coming in. You see stuff like that cussing out all over the place. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. And Ryan Garcia, I'm praying for you that you will hear the real, real gospel, that you will repent and that you will, you will begin to have the fruits of the spirits. Because it's not about all this spirituality stuff. It's it's really centered around the fruits of the spirits. All that other stuff does not come before the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So you got to have the fruits of the spirit. You can't just go out here cussing out over the place, think it's okay to live in sexual morality, listening to all this crazy music and teaching on witchcraft, right? And my prayer, bro, is that you'll hear the real gospel. I brought people through deliverance that I've astral projected. It's absolutely demonic, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, this is the state of, you know, the Hollywood world or the sport world. There are some people who are truly saved in the Hollywood world. There are people who are really saved in the, in the sports world, but there are some, a, m a large majority, that are that are um, engaging into syncretism, which means they they merge witchcraft with Christianity, new age with Christianity, and this is what um, Ryan Garcia is doing. It's a new age Jesus, and be very very careful. All right, and the Bible does talk about another Jesus within Scripture in Second Corinthians chapter eleven four. It says. For if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than G other than the Jesus we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the spirit you received, or a different gospel from one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. So when Ryan Garcia is praying for you, you're receiving another spirit because he practices astral projection. He still has corrupt talk, and he's preaching another Jesus, right? His lifestyle contradicts the word of God. But I'm praying for him in Jesus' name that he will repent, and I pray he sees this video it's all love, but you got to hear the truth because the Bible says it's appointed for once for man to die, then the judgment. Take your life seriously. Repent.